This is a DIY smartwatch that you can make for under $20. It connects to Wi-Fi, it can tell you temperature, date, and time, but that's not it. I can control my lights and other appliances remotely by pressing this button from anywhere in the world, as long as I have good internet connection. Hey what's up, Shyam here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a smartwatch. So let's get started. I first designed the circuit diagram using Easy EDA. Easy EDA is a pretty good software for designing circuit diagrams as well as printed circuit boards. Then I designed the PCBs. To generate Gerber files, click on File and Generate Fabrication File. I've already checked the DRC area, so I'm just going to click No, Generate Gerber. Over here, click Generate Gerber and wait for the file to download. Once it's downloaded, store it in a known location. Now I'm going to get my PCBs manufactured from JLC PCB, who is the sponsor of this video. JLC PCB is the largest PCB manufacturer in China and their prices are extremely low. Here you have to make an account, I've already logged into mine. And then click on Code Now and add your Gerber file. I'm gonna add the Gerber file that we just made a few minutes ago. The link to this file will be in the description below. Once the file is uploaded, it should say Success. And here are some settings that you can change. For example, the color of the solder mask. By default, it is green, which costs $2. But if you change it to any other color, for example red, it becomes $9. And likewise, the black is about $16. But you can just keep it to green to reduce the cost. And also change the PCB thickness to 1 mm so that the smartwatch remains thin. Once that done, click on Save to Cart and then click on Check Out Securely. Here you can add your shipping information, shipping method and payment method. Then click on Continue to place your order after paying. Two weeks later. Here's how I received the PCBs. Inside the box there was a packet which contained the PCBs. The PCBs were well finished, I had ordered a black color, it looks stunning. Here are the final list of components that you'll need to solder on the PCB. The link to all of these will be in the description below. I had salvaged certain components from other PCB modules. For example, the TP4056, the USB micro, the LEDs along with the resistors had been salvaged from a charger circuit. And the 3.3 voltage regulator was from an Arduino Pro Mini. Now I've placed the PCB on a bench wise and let's take a look at some soldering shots.
After sorting all the components to the PCB, I just found out that the GPIO 9 and the GPIO 10 of the ESP cannot be used as button inputs. So I had to cut the copper trays using an X-Acto knife and then solder a new wire from one end of the button to the GPIO 14 of the ESP8266. But you don't have to worry about this as I've already fixed this in the circuit diagram as well as the printed circuit board. Now solder 4 wires for the USB to TTL converter. Now connect all the jumper cables to the USB to TTL converter to upload a code. Now on your computer search for Yahoo Weather API and then click on the first link. It'll take you to this website and under YQL query scroll to the end until you see GNOME AK. Now instead of GNOME you're gonna put in the name of your city. For example I'm going to type Bengaluru and IN for India. Now click on the test button and then you should get the weather report for that city. Now all you have to do is copy the link given below from V1 till the end. Now let's take a look at the Arduino sketch for the project. First you have to install all the libraries given in the link. Here you have to insert the Blink authentication code that we will take a look at in a moment. Insert your Wi-Fi SSID and password here. Now paste the URL that we just copied from yahoo.com over here. And then finally insert the Blink authentication code of the Wi-Fi relay that we made in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, click over here to watch it. Now scroll all the way down till you find time change rule. Over here, add your time plus minus EST in minutes. This will be the time for your time zone. Before we upload the code, click on Tools and then go down to Board and choose your board as Node MCU 1.0 and then choose your port correctly. Once that done, click on Upload to upload the code. While the code is being uploaded, make sure to press the Flash button. Once the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor and you should see that the device is connected to Wi-Fi and Blink server. Now unplug the USB and desolder the wires. So here's how it looks after finishing. Make sure to fully charge the batteries and turn the device on. After turning it on, it should connect to Wi-Fi and by pressing the middle button, it tells you the temperature, time and date. And by pressing the other two buttons you can control the two relays. To make the wristwatch band I used an elastic band from safety goggles.
Now I finished making the wristband, now let's try it on. All you have to do is insert your hand and adjust the straps. Now take your smartphone and open the Blink app. I've already made a tutorial on Blink. You can click on the link above to check it out. There's nothing much to the application side of this project. You just have to create a new project on Blink to get the authentication code which you have to insert in the Arduino sketch. Here I'm adding the Blink bridge widget just to show that I'm using the bridge function. The bridge function allows an ESP device to directly control another ESP device through the Blink server. Now if you see here it says that the device is offline. Now let's turn on the watch and see what happens. Now the watch is connected to Wi-Fi and it shows that the device is now online. The watch receives its time data from NTP or network time protocol which is why it's very accurate. Now power up the Wi-Fi relay module and wait for it to connect to Wi-Fi. Now press the button. There is a bit delay as the data has to travel from different servers in different locations. But this delay is not experienced when controlling it with the smartphone. Similarly, you can plug in any device to control it with your smartwatch. So that's it for this video. Tell me what other features I can add to this smartwatch in the comment section below. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you didn't, tell me what, how I can improve the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.